Hello traders and welcome to our market rundown update. It's still not on here, founder of Master Markets Illustrious Conference and the Traders Open Day. So here we are on the 8th of Feb 2019, yet another week uh, which is done and completed in this trading floor over here. Now, the topic that I just want to cover with you guys for today. Now let's take a look. Now I just wanted to just cover something really simple today. Just some three common beginner mistakes is what um, I wanted to address for the beginners out there. Uh, first thing first, I think beginners, I think some of them, they keep trading and trading and trading, but without, I mean, it seems obvious for intermediate traders, but without any real proper strategy, okay? And even intermediate traders who've been trading for quite a while, this thing is a very big word, and the issue with this is that it's got to be followed by a three-step methodology, which we have spoken about numerously in all our videos and webinars and all our conferences as well we've addressed over 20,000 people now what is the thing in this strategy thing over here firstly your strategy has got to be quantified okay it's got to be backed by valid stats as well and it's also got to have power rewards inside it in the recent round the clock trader live i did speak about this as well so please do take a look at that uh, if you do need to the second main mistake that beginners uh, usually make it seems crazy and, and sometimes you know I don't know whether to say beginners or not because some I've seen some people who've been trading for five six years and they trade really huge amounts of cash as well like 100 200 thousand pounds the crazy thing is that they don't really even have a stop loss that's, that's another very big 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 mistake and they say that they just have mental stop loss or sometimes they don't even know what a stop loss is it's really really crazy it's really shocking and so this is important always know where you should be invalidated it's a whole topic by itself I'll cover this in another video and the third thing what I saw which is most beginners do not have or do not understand even or maybe in the no zone area where they have no understanding of power rewards basically you need to create a model where in the long run it will win and the only way to do that if your rewards are going to be higher than your losses, that's the only way uh, which it's going to work, okay? And that's how then you can create this model which can give you consistent returns, okay? So strategy, definitely have one. It's quantified as well. Have a really good concept and objective with valid stats and power rewards, which is number three as well. And then finally, Please, please, please have a stop loss because you always need to risk manage. And as a professional, we always look at where we're going to be wrong instead of thinking of where we are going to be right, whether we're going to be right or not, okay? Just like in this trade over here, I've got it all mapped out where I'm going to be wrong and how long I'm going to hold this trade for as well based on that, all right? Okay, good. So I think that's to do with that small topic for today now in terms of our performance so let me just show you all what we have done so far on the elite room what do we have on prime profits prime profits let me just take a look at here are we on prime profits at the moment let me see prime profits at the moment uh 1.6 and 1 okay so this one made 1.6 percent this one was loss of minus 1 0 0.6 okay um profit net profit that we made um, this was actually a pity because this was a system trade i think i did mention in one of the uh, webinars as well but i think somehow we overlooked it i mean it does happen i mean we do make some mistakes as well we humans but you know you just gotta let it go but of course store in the system because by right if a computer was to um take this uh do this trading it would have taken this trade all right so 0.6 percent according to system on prime profits and in terms of gold bars gold bar system we got minus 0.29 okay so what do we have so we got minus 0.29 and um, 0.60 percent uh, okay so overall net profit of 0.31 percent very small profit for this week okay uh, that's what we got over there in terms of pips uh, that's going to be 56 pips on this one here minus 27 here uh, minus 7 sorry minus 7 and then 
no it is minus 27 uh, pardon me and then it's going to be minus 7 on the last one so overall what do we have in fact let me just quickly just check uh, that yeah that's right so 56 minus 27 minus 7 that's about 22 pips uh, in terms of pips if there's 10 pounds a pip you'll have made a small profit of 200 and 20 pounds okay for the week ahead right so that's um for the weekly update in terms of what the markets are doing at the moment let's take a look uptrend on dollar yen it's a good consolidation over here large open equity left very small um, distance moved over here but it's consolidating here so we got to double check that whether it can maintain its um, run to the upside in terms of all the other ones here, Dollar Swiss, I think is taking a breeder over here. What would I say this one is? Uh, our first primary already happened already here. Uh, there's another one happening here as well, second primary. Uh, is this the end? This what you got to always ask yourself. Is this going to turn over here? Is it going to carry on? Or is it going to come further down? Okay. In terms of prob probabilities, um, this is not very clear cut yet. We have to analyze our open equity tables. Dollar yen, yeah, higher, I would say higher probability to the upside. Cable, on the other hand, uh, yes, this is an uptrend. We got this. Uh, we were taking a look at this yesterday. There is some probability. This, I would say um, there is actually an equal argument to both sides. The only thing that is giving this really weightage towards the downside. Uh, is that this is the first PSWB and the first interruption after the confirmation. Um, other than that, I mean, it's um, it's not a very clear-cut thing. Over here is an SMC, uh, single market compression. Bitcoin, I think today there is been a bit of a, a, a large move over here. Still in a downtrend though, at 3,600. Uh, over here, we got FTSE, taking a little bit of retracement, profit taking. Where is the movement? You think this is going to confirm or not? Usually the first interruptions, they usually do not confirm. The only thing with this is that there is already 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 trending bars. Still high, still some probability to go to the upside. I wouldn't say it's finished yet. Oil, uh, yes, high open equity here, confirmed. Is it going to turn? Still a little bit open equity left, more to go. I would say still more, a little bit more to the downside, a bit more clear cut this one here. And gold, yep, still continuing on is a big run. Uh, this one is already starting to turn. Will this reverse? Yes, there's a probability that it can take out its low uh, because this distance um, is not the usual average distance that it does. So gold, oil, can still keep on going further down. Dollar yen to the upside. This one, not so clear cut, as you can see. It's stalling a little bit. First PSWB over here. First PSWB over here, actually. This one, yes, we did catch this. We talked about this in Round the Clock Trader Live as well. We caught this move, banked in about 2,200 pounds. As you can see over here, um, this one over here, you can see 2,773 pounds, okay? That's the one that we caught on the Aussie dollar, okay? So that's that one over there. Uh, what else? Then we got the Euro Yen. Euro Yen is down. Uh, open equity, is there a lot of open equity left? Yes, a little bit more to the downside. And finally, we got the Dow. Dow, yes, uh, looks like this one is a bit exhausted. Uh, we can take a look at this becoming a high. A bit more failures over here. And let me see this one. This is a PSWB. And then this one is coming further down again. Okay. Uh, yeah, I would say this uh, good possibility this can be a turning point over here. Right, so quite a few ones over here, market update over here so on the Dow downside uh, gold uh, yes downside oil yes and do dollar Swiss not really that clear dollar yen highly probably to the upside but of course these are all probabilities what happens then also and how much you make out of it as well depending all on your trailing stop loss mechanisms and your risk management as well Okay, that's pretty much that from me in terms of this uh, trade update. And as we always say, till next time, stay disciplined, follow your trading plan, and keep trading. 
like a master.